Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick and easy guide for cleaning your grills. But not only that, we're gonna be testing a new product that I've never ever tested before. In fact, it's these four right here. And I'm sure you're gonna look at this and say, Dave, they are just sponges on a stick. But the point I wanna get across in this video is could these sponges on a stick potentially be better at cleaning your grills than one of these Will Willies. Let's find out. Here I'm just spraying the lower third of the car with a citrus pre-wash and depending on the condition, I may either end up just layering some snow foam on top or rinse it first just to get rid of the initial layer. So basically I just call it however it is on the day. So normally in most cases, a soft brush is going to be good, but it does have its limitations. For example, when I'm trying to brush in here, I can't quite get right at the back where I'd like to. And because these are so soft and delicate, I'm not really attacking it in the way I'd normally want to. So what I revert to after that, if I can't use the brush, because it just doesn't work well enough, is one of these wheel willies. Now again, these are very good, but they do have their limitations because it's solid plastic in the middle. And these do absorb quite a bit, but there's not much softness in them. So if you squeeze them down, they can't quite shrink. There is a few scenarios where these just, again, they won't quite cut it. So that's why I've got these. Now I've got four different sizes. So I'm literally gonna try whichever one I've got here. And because these can absorb more water and they can squeeze down, you can get right into the tips, which means I should be able to get 100% coverage which is exactly what I'm going for. I would say if you're gonna go for absolute perfection, then you'd normally work around the gutter areas as well, around the engine bay, because there's gonna be all this, and there could be loose gunk from when you pressure washed it, so you could get bits of dirt there. That will ultimately drip down if you were not to lift this up and dry it out afterwards. But if I'm gonna do this, it means I've got one more job to do. All right, let's give this bad boy a go. This looks like a perfect fit, actually. That looks like it's been designed just for these grills. That is pretty satisfying, to be fair. I don't think we're going to get it in them ones, but we can get it in the big ones at least. Now that is interesting. See this? That is starting to split. Now that's mainly down to the fact that this really is so tight, it's pulling the sponge apart. So this in itself, wow, that's not good. Now if I go back to the wheel, Willy, I'm sure as hell convinced you're not going to get bits like that drop off it. These things are built so tough. Yeah, look at that, you see? So sponges are not always the answer. For most of you doing this, I would carry this bit out during the contact wash stage. The reason being is if you really did love your car and you were just doing it during the pre-wash, so you snow foam it, and although the foam lifts out some of the dirt, if you start swirling it around, all you're going to do is gonna cause scratches. Now that's if you've got some piano black grills, for example stuff like this just plastic it really doesn't matter what process you do this and a lot of people they normally just spray a traffic film remover or citrus pre-wash they give it a blast with a snow foam of course on top and be done with it and then when they're drying the car off they're just going to take a microfiber cloth and just wipe it around because for a lot of people this level of perfection is just not needed the next step is to get the rest of the car cleaned and move on with the drying stage where you have a few options. I have to say, so when it comes to drying the car, the grills is one area that I don't think a lot of people spend much time on because it's always one of those key spots where you're going to get loads of water build up and you're going to get those drips if you were to drive the car straight away. And especially in the summer months, if you didn't and you weren't using deionized water, for example, you're gonna get the odd streaks, which are gonna come out and it's gonna be no fault of your own because if you're not paid to literally spend hours blowing all the water out of the grill, then I can understand why you would technically just leave some of these bits. But my best advice is literally doing whatever you can. I mean, the good thing is anyone who's been blessed with fingers is gonna be able to wrap a microfiber cloth around them and just shove it in. Well, that did sound rude. So using a microfiber cloth isn't the only way of getting those grills dry. I have a two-in-one wet vac slash dry vac here from Hyundai, but this also has one extra party piece. Watch this. Literally in seconds, you're gonna be able to dry those grills. I really do like this wet vac. And at first, when I did the video, I was trying to find positive things to say about it, but it is actually quite powerful. 
and it really does help, especially this time of the year when it's freezing cold. So if you do need to blast out any of those drips, getting one of these for about 50, I think 57 quid they were last time I checked, isn't actually a bad price. Now going back to the tools for this sponge, although it's a great idea, don't get me wrong, the idea is fantastic, but in practice, because you're gonna be quite aggressive with it, not everybody's gonna be gentle, you are just gonna cause it to fall to bits. And because it's got all these rough edges around here, it's just gonna fray. So for me, not my favorite. The main two ones that I'm gonna recommend will be the soft brush, and you can literally get these anywhere. I've seen pretty good examples that you can get. Dare I say it, I'm gonna get shot down in flames on the Timu website or on the app. You can get them for about £2.50. The great addition which anybody can get hold of, and they will last you a good time anyway. If you're a professional detailer, you're not gonna buy stuff from Timu because you need something that's gonna be more durable. But for those of you getting started and those of you doing it at home, it's a great example. As for these, these will willies. Now, there's no point in me saying, go for anything cheaper. That's an alternative to this because I still haven't found anything that is anywhere near half as good as a genuine Braun Automotive wheel woolly. Now this one that I got from Turtle Wax was quite a while when they had them in stock. I have not seen them in stock for about six or seven months now. So I'm not even gonna put links in it because I seriously doubt you can get it. But nevertheless, wheel willies are available on many different websites and you can get identical ones. So there's no loss there. Although they're still gonna be slightly more than any other wheel brush you're ever gonna buy in your life, they will last you twice, maybe three times longer than any other traditional brush. So it's not a total downer, but I just think these are a great tool to have. And I think if you have got them, they will make your life a lot easier. Right, so I'm gonna get this car finished up. I'm gonna call it a day because I am absolutely shattered. I feel light rubbish because I've got a terrible cold. And you could probably tell on camera because I'm just ugh, not a bit spaced out. But if you love videos like this and you want to learn more about things like glass cleaning or even how to clean your wheels, then I have two fantastic videos right here.